Do you want to know how to make professional photos for your LinkedIn, Instagram, or YouTube profile using just a low resolution photo or a selfie? Today we will see how to do it. Let's get started. For this tutorial, we will use this website called Recruit. Click here if you want to learn how to use it and all its features. I also have a video about that in this link. So now we are here in Recraft, we will import our image. You can just drag it and drop it into the canvas. This is the image that I already have, which is in low resolution taken from a video frame. As you can see, it doesn't have much details. And here in Recraft, they have a community section where you can see all the images that they already have generated. In this way, you can learn how to write your prompts or to generate the image that looks most like what we're looking for. So for example, I found this image of this woman that it looks very professional. And when you drag it, you can see the prompt that they used. And now what we're going to do is to create a composition make of the photo that we already have. So here we are going to do is to change the background of this image. I have my image here and then we just click the right button and then click remove background. And now what we're going to do is to create an image with the background that we're gonna put on top of it. Here in the prompt, I just type creative office background with bokeh DOF, which means depth of field. And then I just click generate. And here we had a very realistic result. I think they work well for this case. And now what we're gonna do is to put our cutted image on top. And the next step is just to select both images and click merge image. So we flatten the image and combine into just one image. Based on this image, we will generate more options using the prompt that we found on the community section. I'm just gonna change a little bit the prompt saying that the man with glasses in a creative space. So this is the result. As you can see, these are much closer than we're looking for. Even the glasses, it made the same glasses as the original picture. So now that we already have our image from Rickcraft, what we're going to do is to make some adjustments to the face. So the next step is to go to this website called PixNova to do a face swap or face change. The first step is to upload our image that we already generated from Recraft. So this is the one we generated. And the second step is to upload an image of our face. It would be better if it's clear and well defined. Here I will use the same image that we used at the beginning of this tutorial, which is the one taken from the video frame. Okay, now we click on generate. Wow, this is a result. So here we can save this image. You can leave it as it is, but I will show you how to make it a little more realistic and not with this kind of cartoonish texture or like plastic texture in the skin. Pretty much this is the texture when you generated an AI image. To do this retouch, we're gonna go to Flux. I already have it installed locally. And if you want to see how to install Flux, you can also click in my other video to see how to install it locally. I will also put the link in the description of this video. Okay, so once we have Flux open, what we are going to do is to go to the image to image section. And here we will import the image that we already generated from PixNova. So here we're going to import the image you can also simply drag and drop it in this area and then we are going to use the same prompt as we used before. A man in a suit in an office environment. And then we, we will regenerate it. Okay, here we have the result. It still looks a little bit plasticky. Let's try changing the style here. We will put this photorealistic photo portrait I think with this style will improve better. And here we will leave the denoising strength where it is, which is 0.2 more or less. So it doesn't generate something very different. What we want to do is just to change the texture of the skin. And then we click on generate it. Okay, so now we have our result. 
and we are getting closer to what we want. Here I can already upload this new image and generate another phase change in this PixNova website. The good thing about PixNova is that it's free and you can make as many generations as you want. The only thing is that every day they remove the generations you create. So that is something you should keep in mind. But at the moment that I'm making this video, you can generate as many times as you want without any cost. Okay, and that's it for this video. If you like it, please thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notifications on my new videos. And remember this, the AI of today is just the beginning. The best is yet to come. See you next time. Bye-bye.